What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I'll show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today I've got another what sold video for you guys for everything that sold from Friday night through today, Monday morning, showing you where I got it, how much I paid for it, and the total profit I made on it at the end of the video. So let's get into it. Look who decided to finally show up for work today. My coworker finally came in after a month or so of not even being here. What have you been doing, dude? So let's just start over here. Let's start down here, actually. We sold another Hocus Pocus inflatable. Again, these were 50% off of this price, so about $45 for this one. And I sold it for $160. And then this one here is from the same place. It was $75. I sold it for $185. Then here we got these two costumes that I got from a local bin place for like 50 cents each in the middle of summer. Then someone bought out these last five from this case here of these airsoft earplugs. That was from that Habitat palette. And they paid close to $200 for five boxes of these. It was like $30, $32 a box. Really nice profits there. Let's get into the hats over here. We got this Louisiana Tech hat. That was $5.99, sold it for $19. We got this Toledo Mud Hens hat that was $10 at TJ Maxx and sold that for $25. We got the Mets hats back. They restocked on Nordstrom. Shout out to Cole, he called these out. I bought like over 100 of these things. They weren't even $14.97. They restocked at $5 and I'm selling them for 30 bucks a pop. Then we got this Bull Weevils Arkansas Montero, I think is what it's called. Um, but I just sold that for $17.99 and that was like three bucks at Marshall's. And then we got these two hats. These were also from Online Leads and Bread and Butter. They were $7, I believe. And I sold one for $25 on Mercari, I believe, and the other for $30 on eBay. Then these three Ohio State hats were all $5 from a local place. That was an absolute crazy come up last month. I got so many bags of those. That was just too easy. And I sell these anywhere from $20 to $25, bucks, depending on the style. Then these last three hats were all pallet hats, so like two or three bucks a piece. Woo Pig Suey here, Arkansas. They're obviously playing well. Sold that for 20 bucks. Field of Dreams, we get 40 bucks for those. And then Washington Huskies, I've had this one for a while. Just sold it for $16. And again, don't be saying, oh my gosh, look how many hats he sold. I'm going to get into hats because I'm going to flip those so fast. Mm, no, you're not. Look how many I have. Hats are a long-term game. And if you guys notice, I sell about the same amount of stuff all year long. That's because I stay consistent and I have good inventory. I'm not quick flipping a lot of stuff. I have over 2,100 listings, over 5,000 total items in my inventory. Next, we got this Yale beanie. This was from an Adidas beanie palette from B-Stock when I was doing that a couple years ago. Um, I think these were three or four bucks a piece and I just sold this one for $15. We got this from this Nike sample lot. This Oregon like track singlet, I think is what it's called. Um, those were like $6 from a Nike B-Stock sample load. Again, B-Stock isn't great anymore. Too many people know about it. But when I was doing that, it wasn't bad. Sold this for like 20 bucks. Nothing big. But just trying to move everything I have left from that. We got this at Burlington, this Ohio State pullover for $12.99. I mean, how do you go wrong with an Ohio State pullover for $12.99? I bought it in the middle of summer and I knew it would take until winter or at least fall to sell. And it did. 35 bucks for that. Then we got this Frisbee here. This was from my bin place as well. So 50 cents as well as this Ed Sheeran CD was 50 cents as well. The CD sold for $11 and the Frisbee sold for 13. We got these two cans of stain here that I got from that eBay store that I bought out. I'm actually in the profit on that finally. And I still have a lot of stuff to list. I just pulled out more boxes yesterday to start listing that stuff. I've got all those NFL hoodies that I'm going to get up. Should have already had them up to be honest. But anyways, these sold for $80 for the pair to the same buyer. We got these Crocs gibbets. Just sell these for like nine bucks. I don't have many left. If you guys know how many I had, I think I probably had like 200 of these. I wholesaled a lot of them out to Hayden. But moving them for nine bucks and they were basically free because they just came with those white Crocs we were cooking in bread and butter. Then we've got this Louisville watch here, which is really difficult to open with one hand. There we go. I got it. Um, this was from a Lids pallet a while back. That was like two or three bucks a unit. And I sold that for 30 bucks. We've got this was from my bin store as well. So 50 cents, just a Samsung case sold it for $13. If I can sell things for over $10 and they're under a pound, I'm going to pick them up there when it's 50 cents. We've got this Ohio state beanie, same place that I got these that load. So five bucks for this. I mean, and that's just a really cool beanie. Got the block on one side, the Buckeye leaf on the other. 
and I sold that for 20 bucks. We've got two pairs of Sanuk loafers. That was from that huge Kohl's sale that we cooked in bread and butter. I believe Caleb called these out. I think they were $15 a pair and they're going for about 40 bucks a pair right now. The darker color is going for about 45. So really nice profits there. The same buyer bought these, so they'll be shipped together. So that'll save on shipping as well. This speaker here, this was from Marshalls, I believe, or TJ Maxx, $10, sold it for $33. Then we got this from BitFTA for 50 cents, just a little dog headband for mini. Sold that for $12. I don't have many of those left. We've got this Minnesota United jersey. I got this from Fanatics probably a year or two ago. Again, inventory is key in how I make all of these sales. Got this for probably eight or 10 bucks and sold it for 35. We've got this Washington license plate. This is from a local store a long time ago. It was like 99% off. They were just moving a bunch of random crap and it was probably like under 50 cents and I sold it for $13. These two were from the bid stores as well. Again, find your bins, pallet stores. Most cities have them and you can really clean up there, especially if you know what you're looking for. Just source your bread and butter. Honestly, my bread and butter is becoming pretty much everything. I just sell about anything I can make profit on. Doesn't work for everyone. Some people need to niche down, but sure works for me. Anyways, sold those for 12 bucks a piece. We got this New York Jets shirt. I honestly have no idea where I got this, when I got this. Actually, you know what? I think I might have got it from Gabe's now that I'm thinking about it. So it was probably like four bucks or else I wouldn't pick it up. And it sold for $17.99. We got this Oakley Shield here. These were just called out last week in Bread and Butter. I found these and with a coupon code, they got down to $24 and they're selling for 50 bucks on eBay and Amazon. Easy, easy money. Then we've got two boxes of undies here. Those sold for 30 bucks a pop and they were $10 from that Kohl's sale as well. Called out in Bread and Butter. Then let's come over here. All right, Sonny, take it away. Go on. Tell them about it. Tell them about the stuff. All right, I guess I'll keep going then. Anyways, we have all of these Crocs. These are all called out in bread and butter and how to get them online and in store for some of them. I'll explain. We got these banana Crocs. These were a $22 call out. Sold those for $48. Oh, looks like I got another pair over there. I sold two pairs of those. Then we've got two pairs of these real tree crocs those were 22 dollars as well selling those for 50 bucks don't have many of those left you guys have seen me sell a bunch of those we've got these blue ones here and those were 17 dollars and i'm selling those for 38 dollars and any undersized 12 are actually under a pound so that's really nice then we've got these lightning mcqueen crocs only have one of these left again we called those out in bread and butter these dropped online and in store most people didn't know about the in-store ones but ka -chow. Anyways, those things sold for $150 and they were a smooth 60 bucks. And again, yes, you will peel that sticker off because why would you want to let them know what you paid for it? Same over here with hats. Again, I'll have to stress this every video because I get questions about it. Seems like common sense to me, but you know, you take the Marshalls tag off. Why would you want someone to see that you paid $10 on a hat you sold for 25? You leave the original MSRP tags on because usually you sell it for less than that and they think they're getting a good deal. Then over here, we've got these. These were $17 as well. And I sold those for 40 bucks. Then we got these yellow ones here. Those were from that huge Croc sale that they had. And those were, I think, 12 bucks a piece and selling those for 35 a pop. Then let's get into the bricks here. Bread and Butter's really been cooking the bricks in our Shoe Flips channel. These were from the Nike Outlet store. They were 30% off of that. And then an additional 20%. I still haven't edited that video, but I have a Nike Outlet store video coming soon that I did like a month ago. But anyways, I sold these for 80 bucks. We've got these Eagles Air Pegasus. Again, guys, these things have been flipping so well. I mean, look at those. Those were $53 actually after all the discounts and I'm selling them for a hundred bucks a pop. Then we've got these Nike Air Camden slides. Hayden called these out. These were $35. Our group clean stock in about 15 minutes on this. And yes, they only say MSRP 50, but they're currently trending at hundred dollars. So I'm gonna peel that bad boy off right there. We got these two top ones from Kohl's and this bottom one from Meyer. They were all 40% additional off. So 40% off of $33 and I sold these for 60 bucks. And then we've got 40% off of $48 on these. And I think I sold those for about 65 bucks. And then these, we've got 40% off of $42 just for these volleyball shoes. And I sold those for 60 bucks. Those are selling really quick. Nothing big, but they sell super quick and it's just nice profits. And then these are all from online leads and bread and butter. These were $45 and these sell for $100 all day long. I only have two pairs of these left. You guys have been watching me flip these for months now. Just super nice. I bought like 40 pairs of those and they've gone super well. 
These blazers, these are actually really cool. The Nike peels off and then back on if you want to change the colors. It can go to like blue, white, or red. It's really cool. Anyways, these were I think $32 and I'm just selling them for like 80 bucks. And then we've got these Air Pegasus Cowboys, just like the Eagles ones. Um, really cool and nice looking shoes there for the NFL. And those were $65 and I'm selling those for $120. So that is everything that sold this weekend. Now Sonny and I are going to get everything packaged up and then we'll get you guys the final numbers. You know, this worker seems to be causing me more work than what he's worth. All right, here is everything that's sold from over the weekend. So before we break down the final numbers, we're going to announce our giveaway winner. If you guys are new here, I give away $10 every single week just for commenting down below. So all you have to do is comment. Congratulations to John. Normally I would say shoot me a DM on Instagram, but it looks like he's in the group. So shoot me a DM on Discord to claim your 10 bucks. And anyone who wants a chance at this next week, comment below this video and you'll have a chance to win 10 bucks. So let's get into those final numbers. On eBay, we sold 56 items for $2,512. On Mercari, we sold six items for $144. And on Amazon, we sold one item for $30 for a total of 63 items sold for $2,686. Now to get our total net profit, we need to take out all of our costs. So take out our cost of goods sold of $890, our shipping $318, and our fees of $309 for a total net profit of $1,169 from Friday night through today, Monday morning. And again, I package Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The only times I film the videos though are Monday, but I get some people asking sometimes like, do you only sell stuff on the weekend? Well, that's not the case. I sell stuff all the time. This is just as much as I have time for to shoot what sold videos. And as always, let's multiply that by 52 to see what we would do just in the weekends in net profit, not counting the weekdays, 60 grand a year. All glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would not be where I am today without him in my life. And I certainly wouldn't be able to do this as a full-time job. So I will always give him all of the glory. And I don't make any of these videos to brag or anything, simply to motivate and show what it's like to be a full-time reseller. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, you could do so at millennial underscore profit. You can also check out my cook group, Bread and Butter, I've mentioned a couple times in this video. First link in the description to check out our new website, and you can join from there as well. Again, guys, keep grinding and stay consistent. Consistent listing, consistent sourcing, consistent shipping. The biggest key to this game is consistency and having inventory. If you want to have success on eBay and other platforms, there's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thanks for watching the Millennial Profit. My gosh, what is this dog doing? Do you want to go to the post office?